All right, guys, welcome back to Best Hour of Their Day. Before we begin today's episode, we are going to take a moment to talk about one of our amazing sponsors, and that is the Groove Life Ring. Fern, you wear a Groove Life every yep. day. Why do you choose Groove Life? I, like we talked about before, I stopped wearing my actual metal wedding ring years ago and what i i had other silicone rings before but what i actually didn't know about this ring until i've been wearing one before they ever sponsored the show so this is not i started wearing it because they sponsored the show i was wearing one before but my finger would get like really soggy underneath the wedding ring the old soggy finger the old soggy <laughs> finger and uh and i realized after we started looking into this a little bit more so groove life it if you turn the ring inside out it does. It has like these grooves in there. It kind of looks like an infinity sign, and what it allows for is it allows for a, a, basically your that finger underneath the ring to like air out. So my finger is never soggy or pale on underneath this ring, but it's not so much that like the ring ever is going to come off of my finger. So it like the breathability of this ring is is not like other silicone rings that I've worn before, and I wear this thing probably. From the second I wake up until the second I go to bed. That's not true, Jess. He took it off immediately when we got to Raleigh, and he said, I think, quote, I'm not married right now, Jay. Those words would never come out of my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Jess already doesn't like <laughs> when I joke around. You said, this stays between us, Jay, but I'm single this week. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to sound terrible, but... I, uh, there's a whole host of reasons that I would never cheat on my wife. Number one being that I love her more than anything in this world. The second one that is very close to that one is she would catch me. Like that is her super skill is she's an intelligence officer and she would find out. So I would prefer not to be murdered in my sleep. Um, but again, that is, that is behind the fact that I truly do love her. We've met 20 years ago and we just had our anniversary. So, um, not 20 year anniversary. Not 20 year anniversary, but we met 20 years ago and have been dating for, man, I think 12 or 13. Well, or I can dating say, and been married. I don't think you would cheat on Jess because she's very. I feel like this is putting me in a bad spot. Like, no. I don't know, we're talking about hypothetical scenarios. Everybody that would never knows <laughs> you didn't say that. You said something along the lines of different zip code, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jess is like. Low key, just low stress. You guys had a you know conversation about Thanksgiving travel the other day that I was catching bits and pieces, and she's just like chill. So that's why you wouldn't cheat. Other than the fact that she would definitely catch you because you're a little dumb about stuff, and B, she you love her. She's also just chill. I married up. You met. You I did. I married up. You that's, did. That's a smart thing to do. So Jess, we are just joking because I know she listens to the show and doesn't find my humor about you being an adulterer entertaining at all well you're just not funny in general you you know you you haven't taken that ring off in fact you've worked out with it on because yep. it is a groove life ring mm -hmm. and you're not worried about losing your finger as you've no, discussed in the I past because it, it would it would break before that but the good news is whether it breaks or you lose it it's guaranteed for life guaranteed for life and they just came out with some really nice cool designs too so check them out they have like they have some of the cooler designs out there in my opinion yeah, maybe get your significant other a Groove Life ring for the holiday coming up. That's right. Christmas is coming up. Use the code Best Hour for 18% off your purchase over at Groove Life. Guaranteed for life, warranted against loss, against breakage. Against divorce? Against divorce. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But anyway, use the code Best Hour, 18% off over at Groove Life. We both highly recommend it. Welcome back to best hour of their day. Fern and I are on the road trip. It's been a it's been a joy. And you are the number of naps this guy takes. Everybody was, is egregious. I was about to say you are cutting into nap time. Well, let's let's talk about it. First of all, needs a lot of downtime. Back home, I don't nap. You know, wherever back home is at that given time. Like I right will now, give you a little bit of a pass because we have done. 867 training sessions since we've been here. Yeah. So typically I don't nap. I don't need it. I've also been sleeping on an air mattress. Well, I should say the first night I slept on a pull-out naked. couch. Naked. I do, I do sleep naked. Listen, if you're wondering about the awkwardness of traveling with Jay Ackerman, let Ooh. me fill you in. 
I don't think that's a big deal. I don't know. Do most I don't particularly care. Having spent my lifetime as an athlete and then a, a significant chunk of my adult life in the Navy, naked men is not something that bothers me. You use that term athlete lightly. I mean, listen, I did beat Ben Smith in a 2012 regionals <laughs> workout. So. I love how you bring that up regularly. <laughs> but anyway, we're in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Airbnb that we're staying at. Yeah, I took a nap yesterday. I hope to take one today. And, you know, we're on day three what day is it yeah this is day three so we're on the back half of day three so this is going to be up live on thursday and we wanted to just kind of fill you guys in on what's going on on the road trip these videos and and the podcast from each drop in won't be out till probably early 2020 the goal is to release them in january but just to fill everybody in you know we're in raleigh north carolina we're hitting 10 boxes in four days we're hitting classes we're talking with the owners we're talking with the members the coaches and giving you guys a, an insight into, A, what some boxes are like, what their classes are like, getting to know the community, and so much more. What's been your favorite part? It, the favorite part has is, is always been my favorite part, which is the, the opportunity to just kind of detach a little bit and, and let other people's projects and businesses spark a little bit of creativity. So uh, the, the biggest thing I love about going to other gyms is the opportunity to steal different ideas from them and then, and then figure out, like, do I want to integrate this in my gym? Is this a good idea? Is that a bad idea? But just it, it just creates it, – it just gets me thinking about so many different things. What's one thing that you can think of that you know you're going to immediately bring back to your box? Um, Man, this is tough. And it's not tough because there's not things. There's tough because I'm ha- I've been having a hard time recalling – what we've seen like i've been taking notes but we've done a lot well yeah we've gone to three five six boxes already we're, we're gonna hit number seven on the at the end of the day here in about a couple hours yeah and you know and the good news is everything's being video recorded for prosperity or is it prosperity i don't know what that word means it is for prosperity probably not yeah no I don't no, know if I'm using that word that. right. You're definitely Point not. Point is, I was going to say, it's being recorded, so we'll be able to look back. What word am I trying to say? I don't know. Posterity? Posterity? Posterior? Chain engagement? <laughs> so It's like we finish each other's <laughs> sandwiches. So, so anyway, we have seen some cool stuff. But, let's, you know, we, we've gone to six boxes. We've hit all workouts, and with the exception of two now, Every workout that we've hit has had numerous pieces. Mm -hmm. So after day one, we were completely smashed. Three workouts in a day where each one had at least two, if not three parts. All three gyms had a strength plus Metcon. All three gyms. We squatted twice. Now, I'm, when you see the video, you it will look as if we mailed in some of the workouts. And to be very honest... We kind of did. I don't think it'll look like that because although we've scaled, we didn't. It's not as if we didn't push ourselves. Yeah, I just you know, basically on the day one, we did essentially what I, I consider that to be six workouts. So uh, like three heavy sections and then three metcons, and an after party. Yeah, and an after party. So I that for that for me at this point in my evolution of training is an, a ast- athlete. is an astronomical <laughs> amount of training. I mean, it was just devastating. Oh, I mean, yesterday when we came back and I took a, like, I was smashed. Like, I don't nap and I can't usually fall asleep like that. And I was just out. I have not trained, eaten, and slept this much. Like, and I couldn't tell you how long. It's maybe like a vacation. Maybe since college. It's like a vacation. That hurts a lot, yeah, <laughs> and is mildly annoying because I have a small, naked Jewish man running, <laughs> running around in my room. Um, no, I well, I tell you what. One thing uh, that I liked was I like to go to gyms that I consider really push the envelope on excellence, and and one gym that I thought did that to a very good extent with regard to the cleanliness and just the um what's the word i'm looking for the aesthetics of their gym prosperity <laughs> definitely, not, <laughs> definitely not that i don't even think that's a word was 12th state so having been to their facility and and i take a lot of pride in how clean our gym is but it's nowhere near as clean as their gym and i'm like we need to step up our game as far as how clean the facility is 
do you think CrossFits have kind of lost that antiquated notion that you don't have to be clean anymore? I mean, that gym was so clean. You're spotless. That the floor was amazing, which is t- which is saying a lot in a CrossFit gym. As was Briar Creek this morning. They clearly just cleaned it knowing we were going to come in. I th- Well, I think what, what 12 State, their color schemes and their color palette in their gym – lent it to looking very clean so it's it's a lot of whites and the brightness the brightness of it made it look very very clean and very very appealing to the eye uh like that that initial lobby setup when we walked in i was like man i'm like this is nice and it was really the purpose of this tour so you know we take for granted i don't think we take for granted but we realize how many boxes we go to in the in our crossfit journey i mean how many boxes would you say you've been at I would say a minimum of 100. Yeah, at least 100. Between CrossFit seminars, between just dropping in while we travel, between you know going to other Gyms events. Gyms in local area or events. Yeah, all that stuff. So it, the goal of this was, A, just to show people what other boxes are like because maybe you've never dropped into another box, so you get to just see it, and B, kind of see how they run it. And what we've done is recorded the episode – which, you know, obviously it's still in the editing process. They're all happening now. But then we also have done a post-WAD debrief on our own, mm-hmm. which will serve as a second episode slash podcast for the future where we, we kind of talk about the coaching, what we liked, what we didn't like. We, You know, we, it goes without saying everyone has been super welcoming, but there's always things that they can improve. And just, just to note, none of this is – us sitting on our high horse. I think we, I could walk into my own gym and give you five dozen things that need to be improved. And I'm well aware of those. There's a list in my office of all those things. So it's not, I don't think it's us being picky. I think it's more, at least the way I envision it is exposing the greater community. And we're just on the very tip of the iceberg here. So I think about this at episode 100 that we've given the community 100 gyms. Like we've via us the the greater community gets to travel to all those gyms and we get to highlight some of the minutia about how people store their equipment how they clean their gym how they set up their bathrooms what they do for the athlete lounges like how they do their branding within the the main space of the gym what the lobby looks like and that's the stuff that i want to expose everybody to so that collectively everybody steals those ideas and then if we walk into gym year over year, every year what we see and what everybody sees is the gyms get better and better and better and better and better. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I've owned my boxes, like, for example, today at CrossFit Briar Briar Creek, they had that lacrosse ball holder. Yeah. So basically what he's describing is it's like, I think it was probably maybe a two or three inch PVC pipe tube that was basically you drop the the lacrosse balls in at the top and they just roll down to the bottom. You just pull one out and the next one rolls through kind of like in a pool table when you're pulling all the pool balls out of the bottom. Yeah. And I had one of those in my box, but I clearly didn't come up with that idea, but I probably saw it at one point. I used to take a picture of things and, you know, ask my guy, can you build this? And he would do that. He built the same thing for a foam roller before Rogue started making Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, basically the same type of tool so just seeing those types of things for these guys and then seeing the seeing the class structure you know maybe this will help some people realize hey maybe three parts is too much Mm -hmm. maybe some boxes will say okay we should go back to one workout a day so or maybe they'll say no i think we can continue to do what we're doing we just maybe need to do it a little bit better like and that's and i at least on my end, like I'm not suggesting that anybody do take that uh, cord off your mic. Just pull it underneath. Where's my mic? Yeah. This? Yeah, just pull it underneath. Just. Where is it? It looks like this. Do this. Oh. There you go. What a good cue you just did. <laughs> what you I went... did, everybody, I just gave a visual <laughs> cue to Jay. I was like, you look like a shit show. You need to look like you this. You went from a verbal cue right <laughs> to a visual cue. Do you see that? Cue. Coaching is universal, everybody. And I that forgot where it was. Re- that was great. Yeah. You were, you were talking about how. Some boxes might think, okay, we are going to go to this, or we're going to say, no, we can add more. Oh, yeah. What I was going to say was um, I I don't want anybody to take away from this is that we are married to any one particular idea. Like I think anybody can do anything well, right? It just takes work in order to do that, right? So I think we both agree, and we actually talked about it at some point today, that – you should do strength plus Metcon occasionally. 
my only contention is that it's difficult. So like you need to have a, a broader, uh, deeper skill set in order to do that really, really effectively where I can educate, inspire, entertain, and see and correct and improve movement in that hour. So if you can do that, well then listen, kudos to you. Like I'm, that's, I'm stoked. I'm just here to say it's very, very difficult. And at some point we have to acknowledge, depending on where my skill set is, if I'm going to put more stuff in the hour, I got to give something up. Like something has to give and you can do it well. <clears throat> and there's have been some gyms that have done it better than others. At the end of the day, I don't think anybody's doing anything maliciously. I think everybody's like trying to do the best with where they're at. And we just want to expose everybody to different ideas, different communities, different programming, different layouts in the gym, all of that stuff. And it's not for us to bash anybody like that's not the intent. So if you're going to get on any of these YouTube videos and start pooping on people, listen, I'm just going to delete those comments because that's not what any of this is about. Yeah. I, and, you know, our fans aren't like that. But I think ultimately a lot of the. I would say a lot of the mistakes or a lot of the things that we think can be improved can could be rectified simply by somebody looking at their lesson plan and saying, how does this work? Mm -hmm. You know, does this, if I were going to hit this workout, would I like it? Or, you know, is this too much in one hour? So, so really it comes down to, you know, just being a little smarter, thinking about what you're going to do, laying it out there. And if you're considering how you could become better, just take a step back and do that first and foremost. I, and I think, I don't know how you feel, but I think the way I look at it is, you know, there's a, there's a ton of people that have had gyms for a long time. And we could safely say that virtually all of the mistakes that you can make in a micro gym have been made already. Like, I don't, I don't think there's any new mistakes coming. So yeah, I mean, within I think reason, things we don't, yeah, we, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to stick with that statement. I don't think there's any new mistakes coming. I think all the like gyms are not a new thing. It's not a new concept. I think what we're trying to kind of expose people to is like, you don't have to make those mistakes on your own in a bubble. Like we'll just help expose you to all of those ideas so you can skip past all of that and you can improve your gym by listening to this content or watching the YouTube channel, looking at the box tour and stealing those ideas instead of figuring out just randomly over the course of three years that that's not where you should put a piece of equipment or that's not how you should store it or this is a bad layout for the gym um, or I all of a sudden I'm aware that I need a lobby of some sort like that. So I think that is really the point is everybody's going to take something away, something different away from each episode. And, and I think the, the, content is going to be unique because every episode is a little bit different. So while we have kind of a storyboard for what we're trying to build at each episode, they're all unique in their own way. And we try to highlight different things that are unique about each box, you know, whether it be the members, whether it be, you know, the facility or the equipment or any of that stuff, which I think is really the big takeaway there. So, yeah. And we have another workout coming up shortly. Have you looked at what it is? Um, don't look. I'm going to look. I okay. To don't tell me. I won't tell you. You said that last time and you told me. Well, that's okay. You'll live. Which has been your favorite workout? Don't not, not based on the coaching, not based on anything other than the actual workout. Which one did you enjoy the most? I think it was probably a tie between the – actually, there's probably three. and th th These are the three that I think got like in that like just true blue CrossFit – just good old fashioned workout, which is the, the, the Metcon at both invoke where we did the 12 minutes or whatever that was of row thruster muscle up. And then we did something not similar, but a very, a triplet at 12 state where we did double under pull up and power snatch, or I did power snatch. And then I, w I enjoyed today's the hero wad. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I like those. I, I probably like that. I did like that little Metcon at, at 12th State, that three-rounder. Mm -hmm. it, it pushed us. It wasn't super hard, but it wasn't uh, too easy either. And then, yeah, we've – you know what? I To be honest, I didn't dislike the one at New Order CrossFit either, that 30-minute workout. Even though it was just a long grind of monostructural stuff. It, it's what I needed it at was, that time. Exactly. Like my body we, – we are both a little sore. And I think that was just like a, it was very monostructural. There's rowing, biking, running, and some burpee box jumps, and I felt better after. What do you think? Or let me ask you a different question. What are you excited about 
about the la- with regard to the launch of these this series. So if, so maybe we haven't explained this correctly. So we're here doing this tour. We're in Raleigh. We literally like paid out of our own pockets to come up here, do ten. We're doing an Airbnb with Nathan, the guy who's doing who's our videographer for the week. Yep. We're going to ten boxes in four days. We're working out with the classes at all ten of them and we're doing what they do in every single class. And then we're interviewing people, we're doing tours of the gym, we're highlighting things, and each gym will have its own episode on the YouTube channel. So there will be 10 episodes that will be released sometime throughout January and February, probably something to the tune of one a week. Assuming they got the audio for all 10 videos. Jay's a little aggravated because he hasn't done a lot of this and he doesn't understand that production of any sort comes with just buttloads of problems just hit where, record dude just yeah, hit record it's just that easy it's just just turn on your iphone and we'll get 4k video all the time um so yeah there will be 10 episodes and then i think by the, the time that last one launches by the time episode 10 launches we will probably have scheduled the, the next, next tour so so two things one fern did a good job explaining it but also just kind of look at it as diners drive-ins and dives for crossfit gyms yeah you know we're kind of just giving a tour showcasing them, talking to the members. And secondly, to piggyback on that, if you have an idea of where we should do the next tour, hit us up. Don't yeah. just tell us your city and state because you want us to visit you, but it's got to be like – and I think most places in the United States are like this where we can get one Airbnb for the week and go to 10 boxes within a 20-minute drive. Yeah, so, and it does need to be somewhere that is – I don't want to say saturated, but there needs to be a decent population of gyms that are fairly close together. So logistically, it makes it really tough to get this many gyms if we have to drive two hours between gyms. Yeah. Like some of the gyms that we drove to were literally like six minutes apart. Oh, yeah. I mean, from this Airbnb, five of them were within five minutes. Yeah. You know, and then a couple we've – this morning we went 30 minutes. I think tomorrow we have to do the same. But it's all within within reason. So, if, yeah, if you, if you live in – in a place that has that, let us know so we can start to plan that now. But I, I think what you were going to ask is what am I most excited about? And I think it's really just to showcase these gyms to people because most people don't get to see other boxes. Mm-hmm. And I hope that it, but with each episode you're watching and you're like, oh, cool. I love that lacrosse ball hack or I love this keychain hack that we mm-hmm. saw at Invoke or the fact that 12th State is so clean or you know, the coffee machine at New Order, all those different things. Yeah, th- what I really hope people pick up on is like the nuances that we're trying to point out to people because I think between the two of us, I think anytime I walk into a gym, my brain just never stops. I'm always looking at things. I'm always analyzing things and that is what I hope people pick up on there is that you walk away with two or three or maybe even four different ideas and we've tried to sprinkle in some coaching stuff in there too as we've gone through. So hopefully there will be a little bit something in there for everybody which is like, hey, this is what this is what I see over here, and here's potentially how I would fix it. Or look at this little thing they have in the gym, or look at this layout, or this is how they have their showers, or this they have showers and towel service. Stuff like that is what I hope really people walk away with because I, I do think there's something for everybody. Whether you're an athlete, whether you're a coach, or whether you're a gym owner, I, I think every episode will provide some information for you or a good idea. And yeah, and then hopefully just encourage these people to go check out boxes themselves. There's nothing wrong with living in a town and going to another box. Why not bounce box. around? Yeah, why check not? It out. I mean, why not? I would, I would, I would venture to guess that you could take something. Let's say you own an affiliate in whatever town you own. A, you own an affiliate in any town USA. Any town USA. I was gonna say bumfuck, but <laughs> you uh, you own an affiliate in any town USA. And let's say there's ten gyms in your area. I would venture to say that you could walk into each one of those 10 gyms and take something away that would be beneficial to your box. And if you can't, you're not paying attention. Not exactly. Like you, you always can. There's always something, even if it's just a little cue that the coach used, mm-hmm. you can always take something. I took away numerous things just based on the warm ups that we did that I'm going to steal. Oh and yeah. And I've been doing this a dozen years. And I, yeah, I've enjoyed some of the warm ups we've done. I enjoyed just, the, even the question of the day that we got at that was great. Hayes Barton Hayes Garden. CrossFit. So there's always something. And Poor Liam. Took a beating for that. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Speaking of something, we have to get our minds right. We have another workout coming. <laughs> really? What, we have we have plenty of time. Jay needs some downtime. We've got 45 minutes till we have to be out the door. 
in those 45 minutes, I have to lay down for 40, and I have to poop for five. Listen, the amount of poop that comes out of the small man is, is, it's alarming. We've been eating out a lot. We, I have been eating a lot. I, I don't like honestly. I typically don't eat three meals in a day, and I've eaten at least three to four times every single time. We've both said how it's kind of cool because. This must be what games athletes feel like, where you just get to eat whatever you want. The, so what you guys are going to see tons of is a mediocre fitness, <laughs> <laughs> moderately good movement. Moderately. Moder- I think we moved well. Yeah. I tried, except for that one time you stuck your whole hand underneath my heel when I was front squatting. Yes, um, just to prove a point. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so you're going to see a lot of mediocre fitness. But yeah, this is it's like a games documentary, but not impressive. It's a games documentary for someone that's not fit and a little more entertaining than a games athlete. That's fair. You know, we're a little funnier, say, than Matt Frazier or Tia Claire Toomey. I mean, I actually think Matt Frazier's pretty funny. Not on purpose like we are. I mean, is that funny if you're being funny on purpose? I think we are humorous where Matt might come off as I humorous. will tell you this there is a lot of there will be a lot of banter yes that is there there are some funny interactions it's going to be educating it's going to be inspiring and entertaining and entertaining and so entertaining. definitely we, obviously if you listen to our show regularly we will keep you abreast on when it's a working title best hour of their day presents drop-ins drop-ins dropping in dropping in Something along. If you those. have a suggestion, yeah. send it our way. That'd be great. Yeah, we you know we don't want to be limited to saying this is best hour of their day because we are going to have other types of shows on the yeah. channel. But if you have best hour of their day presents, dropping in insert title there. Yeah, we uh, we'll consider it. Yeah, we'll consider it. And we'll give you a shout out if we use it. All right, Fern, time to nap, and let's uh, let's get our mind rights for workout number seven. seven. In three days, and then we have three more. Two and more. a half days, three and a half, and then we have three more tomorrow. Three more tomorrow. So we have no – did you look up what the workout was? I didn't. You told me not to. Oh, I thought you – okay, cool. Yeah, I like to just show up and not stress about it. And I'm going to look at it. It's not going to stress me out, but I do like to be prepared. All right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right. If, you, if you've enjoyed this and, and you can give us some feedback on a town, on a name – Anything else you want from us, let us know. But we're really excited about this. Has been this truly has been something I've wanted to do for like two years, and you know I've talked about it with some other companies and it never quite came to fruition. So you know what I had to do? We had to start our own company, and that's exactly what we did. So we're trying to make it the best hour of their day. That's what we're doing. So keep keep up with us. We we hope you've enjoyed this, and we look forward to sharing this entire documentary with you. All right, guys. See ya in the box. Thanks for listening to best hour of their day. If you haven't heard about anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. How cool is that? There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. So it becomes super simple Some of these episodes with Fern or Todd or myself chatting with one another, we've done right within the app itself. Anchor will make it easy to distribute your podcast to all platforms, Spotify, Apple, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make an awesome podcast in one place. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Come on, who doesn't have Spotify at this point? And if you were unaware, Spotify now is offering podcasts. That's right, on Spotify, you can listen to all your favorite artists, but also podcasts in one place for free. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now, best hour of their day on Spotify. You can follow your favorite podcasts so you never miss an episode. Premium users can even download episodes to listen to offline wherever you are, something I always do before I hop on a plane. And you can even easily share what you're listening to with your friends on Instagram and other social media platforms. Here's the deal. If you haven't done so already, be sure to download the Spotify app Search for best hour of their day on Spotify 
or browse some other podcasts if you want. You can find them in your library tab. And also make sure to follow me so you never miss an episode of Best Hour of Their Day. Thanks again for listening to Best Hour of Their Day. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, one more time, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and send us any feedback you have to at Best Hour of Their Day on Instagram and Best Hour of Their Day at gmail.com if you want to shoot us an email. We appreciate you. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.